What's up guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be doing predictions for games going on Saturday, February 23rd. Uh, there's no recap as I covered the recap of previous games in a, a video that was dropped earlier today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into my picks uh, for Saturday, a big day today. Got a lot of good games going on, so it's going to be a great video. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my picks now. First game I'm going to be talking about coming from number one Duke at Syracuse. Uh, looks as if Zion Williamson will not play against uh, Syracuse in this one. Saw Syracuse defeat Duke earlier on in the year uh, when they were without Trey Jones and Cam Reddish. Going to be a tough test on the road here for Duke. They're going to have to shoot the ball well. I think they're going to rise up to the occasion, though. They did not play well the other night against UNC. Have uh, played pretty well in big-time games, whether it's coming back from down uh, 23 or battling back against Gonzaga. I think we'll see Cam Reddish and R.J. Barrett shoot the ball well. I think uh, Coach K will have a good game plan coming out against Syracuse, so I do like Duke in that one. Next game, a really fun game happening. Number three, Virginia, at number 18, Louisville. This is going to be a good one, uh, mostly because um, Virginia's got to go on the road and play in uh, Louisville. We've seen that be tough for teams. Uh, we saw um, they manhandled Duke for the first 30 minutes. Um, I do like Virginia in this one, mostly because Louisville's offense has been struggling, uh, going up against the second-best defense in the country in Virginia. I think they're going to struggle even more uh, against this really good defense of Virginia. Kyle Guy, Ty Jerome, um, DeAndre Hunter, I think they're going to take advantage of uh, Louisville's guards, and I think uh, Virginia's going to come out on top in that one. Next game, Tennessee at LSU. Uh, going to be a fun one here as well. Um, it's going to be a tough ta uh, task for Tennessee to win on the road, especially with the bigs that LSU has down low. We saw them uh, really battle well uh, against Kentucky, those LSU bigs, and Reed uh, Williams as well. Uh, so we're going to need to see Tennessee's bigs and Grant Williams, uh, Kyle Alexander as well. They're going to need to play big down low. I think we'll see Tennessee get a big win. Uh, I think they got a lot riding on their shoulders right now, trying to prove to everyone they're a legit team. So I do like Tennessee in that one over LSU. Next game, uh, a tough one for Marquette here, um, a really tough one, uh, just because Alpha Diallo is a great defender on the Big East, could give Marcus Howard some trouble. Um, I just never know with uh, Marquette if Marcus Howard is going to show up or not. He has recently, so I think he will show up again. I do like Marquette uh, to get a, a close win at, at Providence. Uh, they could blow that game open, but for the most part, I think it's going to be close. Uh, ben, um, Marcus Howard is going to have to play well, and the Hauser brothers, like I've said all year, are going to have to step up as well uh, if Marcus Howard is not hitting shots. Next game, uh, a rematch of a great game we saw earlier on in the year. Auburn at number four, Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky's win at Auburn really kind of set them uh, on the track that they are now. I went on to win nine or ten in a row after that. Um, so I do like Kentucky in this one. Uh, Auburn not necessarily playing uh, – Great basketball in the SEC so far this season. Uh, Kentucky's got too much down low, especially with Auburn uh, having uh, Austin Wiley still out for them, a big man. So I do like Kentucky. Uh, Reed Travis not playing, though. I do like P.J. Washington, Nick Richards to step up for them. Next game, uh, a tough task for Iowa State here on the road at TCU. Saw them coming off a loss at home to Baylor. They're going to bounce back. Um, I really believe that with Mario Shea, Auckland, Dale Wigginton, Horton Tucker. I think those guys are going to shoot the ball well. Uh, TCU have lost three in a row now. Going to be a tough uh, bounce back game here against Iowa State. I do like Iowa State to win. Uh, look for it to be double digits as well. Next game, Ohio State at number 24, Maryland. Um, Maryland is just uh, too good of a team uh, to lose to Ohio State, uh, especially because Ohio State relies so heavily on the Wesson brothers down low and Caleb and Andre. Uh, but they're going up against some premier bigs in the Big Ten and Bruno Fernando and Jalen Smith. They're going to have trouble against them in the front court. Uh, I like Maryland. I like Anthony Cohen to also play well in this game, uh, go at C.J. Jackson, Luther Muhammad. Uh, so I do like Maryland in this one. I think they're going to uh, blow it open in the second half uh, against a uh, struggling Ohio State team this season. Next game, uh, one of the games of the day for me. Number 16, Florida State at number 8, North Carolina. Uh, a big one here. Saw North Carolina uh, smoke Duke the other day on the road. I think we'll see uh, a good showing by North Carolina again. 
Uh, going against a, a very athletic defense in Florida State, though, so they could be able to close out on shooters. I think North Carolina is going to be able to get in transition against Florida State, uh, turn them over a little bit. Uh, so I do like North Carolina in this one. I think it's going to be a close one, though. I think Florida State is going to give them a good battle. Um, so uh, I expect North Carolina to win, though. Next game, Purdue Boilermakers at Nebraska. Purdue is ranked number 15th in the country. Uh, coming off a tough fought win at Indiana. Um, I think they're going to win by double digits here. Uh, Nebraska's really been struggling, uh, especially since losing Isaac Copeland Jr. Uh, not a very good team. Purdue doesn't have to worry about too many guys down low. Isaiah Ruby, I'm going to have to lock him up well, but uh, Purdue is going to win um, the guard matchup here and the shooting matchup as well with Ryan Klein and a couple other guys that can shoot the ball for him. Carson Edwards, I think we'll see him shoot the ball better after a tough game at Indiana. Next game, uh, another good game here. Um, Virginia Tech ranked 22 uh, at Notre Dame. A good game because Justin Robinson is still out for Virginia Tech. Uh, you've seen um, coming off a loss at Virginia uh, against Virginia. Uh, played well in that game. They're going to need to bring their A game against Notre Dame, though. Notre Dame's uh, no easy team to beat. They've played uh, well against Virginia. Uh, they've also given some other teams some good battles. I do expect Virginia Tech to win. Are going to be close for throughout, but I ultimately think that Virginia Techs are going to shoot the ball well. I think we're going to see Blackshear clean up the boards pretty well for them, as uh, Notre Dame doesn't really have an established center for them, or even a big forward, really, besides Mooney. Uh, so I do like Virginia Tech in that one. Uh, next game, we got Oklahoma State at number 23, Kansas State. Uh, this is going to be another good one. Uh, we got a lot of great games today, if you heard me say over and over, um, but... Kansas State, uh, they're going to have to bring it all. They're going to have to play some good defense. Um, lost their last uh, game at home to Iowa State. I think it's a different story. Uh, their defense is going to be too much for uh, a little bit of a weaker Oklahoma State offense for the pace they play at. Uh, so I do like Kansas State, Dean Wade, uh, Barry Brown. Hopefully Dean Wade will be back. Um, but I do like Kansas State in that one regardless. Next game, South Florida at Houston. Houston ranked ninth in the country, have won 10 in a row, uh, sit alone on top of the American Athletic Conference. I expect them to win this one uh, by 15 to 20 points over a South Florida team. Uh, Houston is at home. Uh, a really good rebounding team in Houston, a really good defense team of team in Houston as well. I think they're going to do a good job locking down South Florida. Uh, South Florida can score the ball a little bit, but Houston's defense is going to be too much. They're back at home. I think they're going to have a, a big game uh, against South Florida and win by double digits in that one. Next game, Nevada hosting Fresno State. I uh, saw Nevada win earlier in the year against Fresno State, um, but coming off a loss at San Diego State, uh, showing a little bit of weaknesses uh, with two losses now in the uh, Mountain West. Um, but I do like Nevada to win this one. I think they're going to bounce back big time, Jordan Caroline. Martin Brothers, I think they're going to win this one by 15 to 20 points. I think they're going to blow it open. They're at home. i got a lot to play for, a lot to prove uh, yet this season. Uh, so I do like Nevada in this one. Next game we got, my game of the night, uh, just because it means so much for the Big 12. Number 12, Kansas at number 14, Texas Tech. Um, Kansas is the underdog by five and a half. This is going to be a great game. I actually like Kansas in this one. Um, something about them just can't pick against Kansas for some reason. Uh, going against Texas Tech, a great defense. Uh, Kansas is going to have to take care of the ball. I think they do. I think Dietrich Lawson has a big uh, game down low. Texas Tech struggles to score the ball at times. Uh, I think Kansas is going to do a good job against them. Bill Self is going to have a good game plan. So I like Kansas to get the upset there on the road um, over Texas Tech. Next game. Wisconsin at Northwestern, uh, another good one here. Um, Wisconsin uh, had lost uh, two in a row before beating Illinois at home. Northwestern's given some teams some trouble. We saw them almost beat Iowa. Uh, they've had a little bit of a tough year, but had some tough breaks as well. I like Ethan Happ down low, though. Uh, he's going to prove too much, I believe. Um, it's going to be a really tight game, though. Wisconsin, especially with their inability to shoot free throws at the end of the game, especially Happ, I think it's going to be a close one there. Uh, so look for Northwestern to keep it close, but ultimately uh, Wisconsin come out on top. 
final game of the night, BYU at number two, Gonzaga. It's going to be um, another big win here by Gonzaga, I believe. Saw Gonzaga beat BYU on the road by 30 already this year. Uh, BYU just doesn't match up well with them. Uh, struggle to rebound the ball. Uh, they do a good job of moving the ball, however. I just don't think they're going to have enough um, shooting-wise. Can't hang with Gonzaga. Uh, Gonzaga led by Josh Perkins at point guard. Just became the all-time assist leader there. I like Gonzaga to keep it rolling. I'll get another 25-30 point win over BYU uh, in the West Coast Conference there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Uh, comment what games you're looking forward to. Subscribe if you have not already. Uh, let your friends know about this page as well if they're interested in college basketball, looking to continue to grow this page. Uh, also, go follow my Twitter and Instagram. The handle for that is Hilly Hoops. Uh, plain and simple. Uh, but have a good day watching college basketball. It's going to be a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy your weekend as well.